Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Indiana Gear Up YouTube channel. We're so excited that you joined us today. As Indiana Gear Up works to build capacity and resources and to be of support to our schools, teachers, parents, students, and community partners, we first want to let you know of ways in which we can connect. As you're joining us today on our YouTube channel at Indiana Gear Up, please subscribe to our page, share with your friends, family, any community members that may be interested in learning more about the resources or projects that we're working on uh, throughout the remainder of the year into the summer, professional development that we have, as well as preparing for next year. Uh, you can find us on social media platforms such as Facebook at Indiana Gear Up, Twitter at Indiana Gear Up, as well as Instagram at Indiana Gear Up. Also, you can reach out to us via email, indianagearup at purdue.edu. We have staff members behind the scenes who are readily available to answer any questions that you may have. Um, today, we'll be looking at how you connect with us on our website at indianagearup.org. And more specifically, our resource tab that's available for teachers right now. Um, we have an Indiana Gear Up COVID-19 resource folder that's available and it's free. This was developed um, by a seasoned expert of team, uh, a team of regional directors um, who have really just have an ample amount of experience in the education field. Uh, there are several documents here um, that you can browse through and use at your leisure. Uh, today, more specifically, we're gonna be taking a look at the Gear Up Educational website resources. And each day we're going to be sharing a tutorial on one of these websites that is specific to the subject for the high school level, the link that is available, the description, as well as the services that are currently offered. Again, we hope that, that this can be of use to you now or in the near future for teachers, uh, staff members, parents, uh, or community members. So enjoy. All right, our educational website resource we'll be providing for you today is deltamath.com. And this is a free website for teachers and students that are covering uh, supplemental topics. So here is just a demo overview. Uh, once you create an account as a teacher, you can set up a classroom and basically assign uh, various topics to your students that are gonna be beneficial, again, for filling those gaps and supplemental uh, resource and review for your students. So here is the tutorial for Delta Math as an overview as a teacher. And again, this gives you a great opportunity for those uh, time fillers in which students need some additional reinforcement. So here is the demo for you. Delta Math is a website that allows teachers to assign content to their students from middle school through AP Calculus. Teachers can easily create assignments by adding any of almost 1,200 different problem types, each of which has countless randomly generated problems that give kids immediate feedback and show step-by-step -step directions on how to solve them. Teachers can click on any problem and see unlimited examples of the types of problems their students will be solving. There is a search bar where teachers can search for keywords or for Common Core standards. They can also list all problem types by Common Core standards. If a student is assigned the distributive property, they would see this question page. If they got the answer wrong, they will see the full solution, for which this one includes an animation. For combining like terms, there is a guided version which is interactive and gives kids hints along the way. For example, if they tried to drag negative 2x squared onto negative 6y squared, they'd be giving a hint that those are not like terms and they must have the same variable. If they do connect the y squareds together, they're asked to combine that result. If they get it wrong, they're given feedback that they do not add up to 9y squared. Only when they get it right, does it give them a new row in which they can continue combining like terms until there are as few as possible? 
If you want a more traditional approach, you can just assign regular combined like terms in which the kid just has to type the answer. And if the answer is incorrect, then they're able to see the full solution and learn from their mistake. Many modules have great visual tools to help students understand the conceptual reason for the steps they are taking. For example, seeing this visualization can be a very powerful way for students to make the connection between greatest common factors and simplifying fractions. Students are also able to make graphs within the system that are automatically graded. For example, in graphing lines, the student must click twice in order to make a line. If they accidentally graph the line with a positive slope, they would be giving meaningful feedback about their mistake. For example, they're shown the correct answer, which goes to the right three down to, while their graph went to the right three and up to. There's also verbal feedback that shows that their y-intercept is correct and the slope is correct, except for the sign the slope was supposed to be negative. For trig graphs, students can experiment with the various parameters so this is just a brief example and demo of Delta Math and what it offers in terms of feedback and how it is self-regulated uh, based on the student's progress. And again, this is just a great opportunity for students to have some reinforcements and understanding or reviewing uh, specific topics that they may need assistance with. So Delta Math is a great uh, option for virtual learning right now within the classroom and assigning specific topics again that are going to be tailored to their educational plan. So we hope you can use this in the near future and we will see you soon.